Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, August the 26th. About uh, eight months ago, last December, I did a video about RTL SDR and the various versions and connectors, and I wanted to update that a little bit. So uh, this guy here is the original RTL version that I got, I guess it was about eight or nine years ago. It's plastic. It has an MCX connector, and it came with this uh, little whip antenna, 15 centimeter whip antenna, which is, I like. It's got a magnetic base, so it sticks to metal. It acts as a good ground plane. It's a good overall receiver, and um, uh, it has um, it has a frequency correction you need to take into account about 20. Mine is like 27 parts per million, so it goes from let's say 25 megahertz up to 1750 megahertz, something like that. So that was the first version I got. Then the second version I got is this guy here, the metal version. It's got an SMA connector. You can get it with or without a bias T. I got it without a bias T. Uh, and it has the same performance as this guy. Much better frequency accuracy. It's only like, it's very accurate, like zero or one PPM at the most. Um, I used it with a Hammett Up converter. And there's the Hammett Up converter uh, to receive HF. This goes from, let's say, 25 megs to 1750 so if you want to get the HF band I use the Hammond up converter and I power the Hammond up from USB uh, because I don't have the 5 volt on there so the next guy I got was this one this is the version 3 from rtlsdr.com and it has an HF capability you have to go into direct sampling mode uh, it's also got uh, an SMA connector on it there we go um, so this covers HF, so it goes, let's say, from 100 kilohertz up to 1750 megahertz. Um, the HF works on direct sampling, so you're sampling at 28.8 megasamples per second. So whatever signal you receive is mirrored about 14.4 megahertz, so you have to take that in, into consideration. This has a bias T, which you can turn on and off, which is handy. So if you're not using it, turn it off, because you don't want to short it accidentally. And I use it with GPS. This is a GPS patch antenna, which requires five volts, which I get off there. Now, uh, the next version I got is this guy here. And this is, uh, I just got this recently. So this is um, an RTL uh, with a metal case, and it's got an SMA connector. Uh, and it's got a permanent uh, bias on there, but it's designed to be used with a satellite system. So it, this one goes, let's say, from 55 megs up to 2300 megs. And it's got a very good performance, let's say, above 1500 megahertz. So this uh, 5 volts, which is always on, I use to drive uh, this particular module here, which is a Sawbird. I'm using it to receive GO signals at 1694 megahertz. So it has a saw filter and LNA built in. So I use it with this module. They're, they're designed to go together, which is very handy. Now here's some um, adapters you might want to get. You need the barrel connector, of course, let's say to connect these two together. This is very handy. This is a BNC to SMA. So a lot of HF uh, RG58 cables have BNCs on them. So that'll go into your SMA. If you're looking at BHF antennas, they may have a PL259 or UHF connector on it to an SMA, that's very handy. Uh, I always carry a bunch of alligator clips with me so I can extend my whip antenna just by tying these to a tree or something. There's a, a nice whip antenna which has an SMA connector on it. Um, here's a collection of SMA to uh, MCX or CMX connector adapters. So they're very handy. If you've got version one with the MCX connector, this will allow you to go into uh, any type of SMA, which is quite handy. Uh, there's a USB power meter, which I use to check everything. If your unit's not working sometimes, you can detect that with a power meter if it's taking too much power or no power at all. That tells you something about the behavior of the unit. For HF, uh, when I'm in the field, I like to have about, uh, let's say, 50 to 75 feet of hookup wire. I just uh, drill a hole in a tennis ball, put the hookup wire in that, toss it over a tree, uh, and skin the end of the cable and stick it into the center pin uh, of your uh, RTL. That'll make a good HF antenna. For marine antenna, that's a tram antenna which I got from uh, off Amazon. It's very good. Uh, I use it for marine. And this antenna here, this is my um, GOES L-band satellite dish. So that's a quick overview of the types of RTL and antennas and connectors.